funny video. <laughs> okay, somebody sent this to my Discord. Uh, sent this to, I guess, everybody, but also me on, on my Discord. And I watched 30 seconds of this video at the gym because where I am, you know, Orange Zone, Ottawa, gyms are open, which is great. So I'm at the gym, I watched 30 seconds of this video and I'm laughing embarrassingly loud. <laughs> like embarrassingly loud and I stop at the 30 second mark. And when we get to the part that really got me, in this video, I'll tell you, I'll tell you where it is. And I was like, I gotta watch this with uh, all of you guys. Cause I want you to laugh too. I hope we can laugh together. This video is done super cuts delight. Hopefully he'll be okay with me reacting to it. So if this video goes up and gets taken down, it's because he said no, but I'll tag him and sing his praises from the rooftop and hopefully it'll all be okay. I'm really excited. It's 2020 portrayed by the Lord of the Rings. And if you've watched all my stuff, you'll know that I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. I guess most recently I talked about it in my Let Me Tell You a Story About Fighting Monsters video. I, I was obsessed, obsessed with Lord of the Rings when it came out. I remember trying to read the books and I couldn't get like, man, how long was Bilbo's party? Was Bilbo's party 111 years long? Because that's how long it felt when I was reading it. So I never read the books. I read The Hobbit, uh, but I love the movies. Love, love, love the movies. Embarrassingly have watched every cast commentary multiple times. Like, I mean, all of the, all of the, every commentary, all of the special features, everything, many, many times. I was not cool in high school. <laughs> but anyways, I'm really excited to watch this. So let's just dive into it. <laughs> I'm so excited. I feel like I have to like lower my lower my expectations. <laughs> this was the part. <laughs> I mean, it's funny and not funny. I love you guys. US, I'm I'm uh, wishing you all the best, but that got me, that killed me. Canada just be like, no! <laughs> <laughs> Fighting for toilet paper. Everyone else. Every orc in Mordor is going to hear this racket. Maybe he does deserve to die. <laughs> Maybe he does deserve to die. <laughs> the eagles are coming. <laughs> Yo, oh my gosh, have you guys seen the end game thing like this? Avengers Endgame, like that last? Yo, I cried. Comment below and tell me if you've seen it. And oh my gosh, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it somewhere and you should watch it. It was amazing. I cried. And I'm Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Authority is not given to you to deny the return of the king, steward. <laughs> of but he God just God. did. Mine. Kind of. No others. <laughs> Have you come to a decision about him? Yo. No. <laughs> Haste. Oh my god, waiting for Nevada. Like, was one person counting? Uh. Uh. It's better now, right? Is it better? Or did we just. 
Destroyed Gimli. <laughs> any craft that we here possess. The ring was made in the fires of Mount Doom. <laughs> only there. Can, can you imagine if we could only unmake COVID in like a Chinese meat market? Was that it? Is that real? Is that really where it came from? <laughs> yes, New Zealand. But no! Okay, for real, not a huge Kobe fan, was never, I'm like, as much as I love basketball, I've played for professional basketball for a number of years. I never really watched a lot of basketball. I cried, I just cried a lot this year, but when Kobe died, like, I don't know, that hit me so, so much harder than I ever thought it was. Like the day before, if you said, Han, if Kobe Bryant dies tomorrow, what would you think? I'd be like, that sucks, sucks for his family. But I was wrecked and I feel like, not to the same level, but similar with Alex Trebek, because like these people have just been around. They've just been staples. They're icons. They've just been in my life. And just, man, this guy, Supercuts Delight, just getting at me with the Kobe Bryant. I also cried when I first saw this in theaters and he died. I'm just a crier, maybe. Not maybe, I am. I'm just a crier. Yo, seriously, man. <laughs> <laughs> and the toilet paper is a ring. I forgot about Tiger King. Very much like to hold it again. You don't have any friends. Listening. Not listening. This is too All that right, was then. too real. Keep your secrets. Huh? I know you have something to do with it. I was barely involved. <laughs> All I did was give your uncle a little nudge out of the door. Whatever you did, you've been officially labeled a disturber of the peace. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not really. Uh maybe not me. Yeah, the election being over, yeah. New consoles. <laughs> Yo, seriously. Yep. I was really waiting for a joke about the Black Lives Matter movement because there's no black people in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> like, there's only white people. <laughs> I was waiting for, a, like, at the end, a not-featured jab at, at the Lord of the Rings franchise for that. But that was really funny. That was really, really funny. I really enjoyed that. I might do more of more of his stuff. Let's take a look at some of... What's some other stuff that he... He has up here. Channel overview. Sure, sure, I'll watch this. Hey guys, welcome to Supercuts Today. Hi! On this channel I make critique videos, like Devoid of Logic, where I make fun of shows and movies like X-Men Dark Phoenix. Probably oh, fair, I never watched that movie. <laughs> my emotions make me strong. <laughs> hey! I also make some meme videos in the form of But It's Full of Memes with everything as my rendition. And I've done these for Avengers, Game of Thrones, and Spider-Man so far. Okay. The other type of videos I make are minute straight videos, where I take on different topics from shows and movies, <laughs> and make a video about it with funny edits, text commentary, as we've and just meme integration. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a content overview on the channel, and hopefully cool. you like the videos you choose to watch. That's funny. 
I can watch more of his stuff. So how about if you guys, um, if any of you guys think that you'd like to see me watch more of his stuff and, I don't know, talk about how much I cry all the time. That's uh, Then comment down below, let me know which ones, which ones you think would be funny or any other videos like this that are pop culture related or current events related. I'm a bit of a news junkie. I mean, sometimes I am. I go through phases with what I can take. So I do really enjoy stuff like that. Anyways, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy. I hope that if you did pick up a copy of my book, Dominion Required, which came out on November 26th, 6th? Yeah, November 26th, that you've, put, if you've gotten your hands on it, if you've cracked it open, that you're enjoying it. I actually have two books, Magic Required and Dominion Required. They are both available now. Unfortunately, self-publishing is such a, such a 2020. You know, you just don't know what you're gonna get. So Dominion Required is not on Audible yet, but hopefully it'll be coming soon. And if you've read either of them, I'd really appreciate a review. You could also like this video, share it with a nerdy friend. I don't know, just thanks guys. Even though 2020 has sucked, this has been really great. Having this channel and talking to you guys, and I hope that continues. So until next time, may the force be with you. Live long and prosper, and I'll be back. They decided water would be the way I died, but I swam anyway. It was my way of biting my thumb at them, at the old gods who made me like this. To be honest, I hated the water. It scared me. I doubtless hated the fear more than the water itself, because I needed it to. It kept me centered. I didn't used to swim. I didn't used to need to risk my life to clear my head. There was a time when singing did that for me. It still did, sometimes, but not like it used to. Not like before my eldest brother died. 